As a healthy 23 year old, Jen Ludwin didn't worry too much when she came down with the flu. I figured, you know what, I'll spend seven days in bed and just fight it off and I'd be okay. But I was totally wrong. The virus caused Jen's organs to begin to fail. It damaged her lungs and caused bleeding that resulted in amputations. After spending months fighting for her life, Jen is grateful to be alive. When otherwise healthy people develop severe complications from flu, the explanation can be a mystery. Understanding why people without cardiovascular disease develop heart problems has been a particular challenge. But a new study by researchers at the Ohio State University College of Medicine reveals a link between cardiac complications of the flu and a protein that's critical to fighting it. We make this protein and it inhibits viruses from entering our cells. A relatively common genetic mutation impedes the production of the protein and without it the flu is more likely to infect the heart and cause what's called fibrosis according to a new study in mice. Think of it in terms of uh, just like a scar. So if you've ever had a cut and you get a scar afterwards there's some fibrosis there in the skin. The same type of thing can happen in the lung or in the heart. It can actually block the electrical current that's trafficking through, that's traveling through the heart. This could be what causes some cardiac events in severe cases of the flu. The study found that mice without this gene were more likely to have heart complications and failed to recover after being infected with the virus. This link may lead to improvements in how doctors care for flu patients in the future. If you know that they're missing the gene ahead of time, that you may tailor your medical therapy differently. Until experts can study this connection in people, identify those at risk, and develop new treatments, the best defense is prevention, something Jen truly understands the importance of. Since then, I have gotten the flu shot every single year. I'm probably the first person in line to get it. At the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.